Hi, this is David Duke. Welcome to Expert Village. In this clip, we're going to talk about uh, loading the glider. Um, as I said, the uh, more advanced they get, the heavier they get. The hard way to do it is to use your back and just clean jerk it up to your shoulder. This is the way I do it these days, especially with my heavy glider. I start at this end, and I just, there's no back lifting that way. And I just walk down to the balance point, put it up on my shoulder, put it on the back rack, and set it over to the front. And adjust it. You don't want too much hanging off of one end. If you had six feet hanging off of this end, as you bounced over the road, especially off-road, you would be bending your tubes. Another great reason to fly with a, a friend. This is Keith, one of my hang gliding buddies. Makes it easy. Look how easy this is. Of course, I have to help him lift his glider up on there too. Before you do anything else, strap your glider down before you forget. You drive away and usually it launches right about as you're getting onto the freeway. It stays on there just until you get up to about 60 miles an hour and then your precious glider has launched itself. So always, never ever leave the glider out here, up here without being tied down because uh, you'll drive off without it or one of your friends will. Straps are better than ropes because uh, straps have a broader surface on them and don't cut into your glider like a rope would. And you don't, the object here is not to over cinch it because you don't, again, want to kink your sail, kink your wires, kink your tubes. You just snug it, that's all. 